The service of songs in honor of Dame Caroline Oladunia Debutu was held on Tuesday, the 7th of February, 2023, at the Harbour Point, Victoria Island, Lagos. Dame Caroline Oladunia Debutu is the wife of respected and admired billionaire philanthropist, Sir Dr. Kessin Tenadebu Kuala Debutu. Dame Caroline Oladunia Debutu, nee Jai Simi, was born in Odogbolu, on the 19th day of June, 1939. She attended St. Patrick's Catholic School, Yaba, after which she returned to Odogbolu to continue her elementary education. She attended Methodist Girls High School, Yaba, where she was an exemplary student. On the 18th of August, 1960, her love for her husband was formalized at the marriage registry in Lagos. They were married for 63 years until her demise on the 19th day of January, 2023. The event was graced by important personalities cutting across different spheres of the society, which is a true testament of how much impact the husband of the deceased, Sir Dr. Kessington Adebutu, have had on people across the world. Dignitaries who graced the service included Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Sonwulu, Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Senator Dr. Loro Nimbema Mura, former First Lady of Lagos State and wife of APC presidential candidate, Senator Luremi Tinumbu, Elder Statesman and Chieftain of Afeni Ferry, Pa Ayoade Banjo, former Governor of Ogo State, Aremo Lushagun Oshoba, former Chairman, First Bank Nigeria, Dr. Mrs. Ibukwa Wushika, former President, Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Chief Mrs. Nikki Akonde, CON. Also in attendance were Nigeria's former High Commissioner to the United Kingdom, Justice Adeshola Oguntade, Chairman Eliganza Group, Alhaji Razak Okoya, and wife, Chief Mrs. Folashadi Okoya, Chairman Doi Group of Companies, Prince Samuel Ade Doi. Sir Oluo Keowo and wife, Lady Adeja Keowo, Dr. Sonny Folorosho Kuku, Basharu J.K. Randall, Dr. Duny Okupe, former AIG Tunji Alakbini, Mr. Akion Shibajo, Evangelist Ebeniza Obe, Are Kolao Yefeso, Chairman and CEO Biscon Communications, Prince Bisio Latilo, among many others. The children of Dame Caroline Adibutu were also in attendance. PDP Governorship aspirants, Ogo States, Honorable Oladik Bukwa Adibutu, Dr. Mrs. Abiola Olorode, Nei Adibutu, Mr. Ajibola Adibutu, Mrs. Bolanli Martel Oko, Nei Adibutu, Mrs. Adeyemi Olusoji, Nei Adibutu, Chairman Petrolex Oil and Gas, Mr. Shegon Adibutu, Mr. Debisi Adebutu, Baba Tunde Adebutu, and Temi Tokbe Adebutu. The event, which was compared by Mrs. Abosede Ozaosho, began with an opening prayer by Dr. Mrs. Sibukwa Oshika, which was followed by a session of praises to God, led by the Fountain of Life Church Choir, Ilukbeju, Lagos. The first Bible reading for the service was taken by Dr. Mrs. Abiola Olorode, Ne Adebutu, while the second reading was taken by Mr. Jibola Debutu. In a session of tributes, Pastor Mrs. Bolale Martel Oko, Nei Adebutu, acknowledged that her mother was amazing, authentic, true to herself, and was careful about how her actions affected others. She was dependable and totally devoted to her husband of 63 years and her family. She was exceptionally excellent in living a life of service to others. She was favored and in turn showed favor to everyone she came in contact with. Gee, she was graceful and generous to a fault, like my grandmother used to say. She was hardworking and always willing to lend a helping hand. She was and is irreplaceable, and we feel the vacuum she has left already. She was just, equitable, and fair in her dealings with all. 
K. She was kind and careful about how her actions impacted others. She was loyal and extremely loving, even when she wasn't too happy with you. Oluri Olayemi Adesoya said her sister's love for her husband was unconditional. She added that Yeye Modi, as she was fondly called by so many, was a loving mother to both her biological and non-biological children. We thank God that though you are gone, but you are never forgotten. You are, I cannot describe who you were, because you were always there for everybody that came your way. People will come to you in tears. They will go away with broad smiles. All because all their requests you answered. There are times she was offended. She would just smile. With the gap in her tooth, she would disarm you. She would just say, what is life? All is vanity. Whether you have 100 houses, all is vanity. She built houses for many people, believe it or not. She even built a church. And at Osud, there is a wing for diabetes, for diabetic I mean, patients, fully equipped with international machineries, medications, and even other requirements she did. My sister was wonderful. In capital letters, wonderful. You will not believe it. May her soul rest in perfect peace. The representative of Methodist Girls High School, Yaba, the armor mater of Dame Caroline Oladunia Debutu, in a tribute, pledged to immortalize the late Dame Caroline Oladunia Debutu. Dame Adebutu's love and honor for our armor mater and our association was demonstrated at any and every forum. It is therefore a befitting memorial to Dame Caroline Oladunia Debutu, the Yeye Mode of the Source, as we look forward to commissioning the Dame Caroline Oladunia Debutu Hall in the Methodist Girls High School Old Girls Association Legacy Block in April 2023 by God's grace. <clears throat> Our thoughts and prayers are with Sir Kessintina Debutu CFR, her children, other members of the family, including her sister, Olori Yemi Adesoya, who is also an old girl of the 1959 to 64 set. Gospel music minister, Evangelist Tokme Alabi performed before the next set of tributes followed. <laughs>
In the tributes, Mrs. Adeyemi Olusoji, nay Adebutu said, she admired her mother's commitment to marriage and family life. She described her as a nurturer who provided unflinching support for her children. Mommy was very humble. She was never condescending. No matter where you were from or who you were, mommy embraced you. She didn't think that the position that she rose to at some point was a, enough for her to look down on anyone. She embraced everyone. She was a very humble person. I know that a number of people have spoken about her generosity, but I will not give honor to her if I don't repeat it at the same time. Mommy was generous to a fault. She would give and give and give and give and I often wonder that I hope one day we will not come home and find nothing in the house because mommy has given it away. But she was, she was just a giver. She believed in you know, giving of what God had blessed her with. And we thank God because those were seeds she has sown. And we know that the fruits will come not only in her lifetime, but to us, her children and her grandchildren. Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, in his remarks, said, The late Dame Caroline Adebutu would be remembered for her love for God and humanity. He prayed that God will comfort her husband, Sir Dr. Kessington Adebutu, and her entire household. The words of her children and from the lives of her children was an exceptional human being and a person who served God until her death. I think that something that we'll always remember about Dame Caroline Adebutu was her love of God. And that is so, and after hearing the words, after hearing uh, the songs and all of that, it's evident that at the end of the day, what really counts is whether we're able to live our lives, as someone said just today, with the end in mind the end of our lives in mind. And I think that she apparently lived her life with the end in mind. So on, I, I, when, when we remember those who have gone, of course, the memories of their lives and the things that they did is what comes to us. But as someone also said, while we miss them, the test of death of a loved one is a test for the living. It is not a test for those who have gone, especially those who die in the Lord. So this is why we commiserate very deeply with uh, Sir Kessinti Nadebutu Baba and the children. So we bless God for her life and we pray that the Almighty God will bless her memory forever. We pray also that the Lord God Almighty will comfort Baba, comfort Baba and give him peace, strengthen him at this time, and keep him well. And, and I'm sure that Baba will be with us for many, many more years to come. Amen. Amen. Dr. Margaret Unifade, younger sister of Sir Kessington Adebutu, who spoke on behalf of the Adebutu family, said, the legacies of the late Dame Caroline Adebutu will live on through the multitude of those who were recipients of her love and kindness. To so us in the Adebutu family, the death of our beloved wife, mother, Dame Caroline Oladuna Adebutu, is truly an irreparable loss, but again to God, her maker, whom she served faithfully in truth and in deed to the end. A woman of impeccable excellence, our lovely Yeye Mode was a beautiful blend of humility, simplicity, 
faith and compassion, she radiated love beyond measure in the family. She never called any of her husband's siblings by name. It was always your coming or Baba coming whenever she greeted us in love. So our loving brother, Sarkesintin Adebukola Adebutu, they gave our unconditional love and total devotion to the end. She was a paragon of beauty and charming manners rolled into one. She was our jewel of inestimable value. After the tribute session, music ministrations continued with saxophonist B.J. Sax before Mr. Oladimeji Jayesimi took the Bible reading. Pastor Itwai Gudalo, during his sermon, admonished all to love one another by giving and caring. According to him, the worldly possessions amassed will not matter when death comes. He said what will matter then is the lives impacted while on earth. Sooner or later, death will come knocking. And death does not ask for permission. So don't seek excuse. It's not asked for your authority to take you away. It says one way or the other, you have to live a perfect life here on earth and you have to prepare for eternity in heaven. If you want to give this message a title, call it living a perfect life. A lot of us live lives up and down, chasing things that were not lost. A pastor friend of mine was speaking at a remembrance service a couple of weeks ago. And he says there are four types of people on earth. Number one, chronic complainers. People who complain all the time. Ungrateful, proud, arrogant people. Nothing can go right. They're shouting all the time. Don't see any good. In anybody. Pastor Nii Ajibola thereafter prayed for the Adebutu family.
Honorable Oladi Pupo Adebuto in the vote of thanks said, The only word that describes his mother is sacrifice, stressing that she was the true definition of a fearless and resilient woman and the shining light that illuminated the world. Dean Caroline Oladuni, she made sacrifices. I read one of the tributes here, one of my siblings, and he said, I think it was Bisi's tribute. He said, despite adversity, despite adversity, interesting, despite adversity, it was not always good, it was not always perfect, he said, despite adversity. I can imagine if she had gotten fed up and she had walked away. What would have happened to all of us? We are all successful in our rights today. That is why in my tribute, I couldn't say more than it would have been very different. And that is why it's a pity the choir is gone. The greatest tribute we could have done today was as all siblings we should have just sang a Yanwara Yebiye for her. That would have been the greatest tribute. Thank you very much. The service was brought to an end afterwards. The commendation service in honor of the late Dame Caroline Oladuni Adebutu JB was held on Wednesday, the 8th of February 2023, at the Horace Memorial Methodist Cathedral, Yaba, Lagos. The service was attended by family, friends, and close associates of the deceased. They include Sir Dr. Kessington Adebutu, husband of the deceased, his wife, Chief Mrs. Kofu Rola Adebutu, Mr. Adeshegun Adebutu, son of the deceased, Mr. Ajibola Adebutu, son of the deceased, Dr. Biola Lurude Ne Adebutu, daughter of the deceased, Mrs. Bolanle Matel Oko Ne Adebutu, daughter of the deceased, Are Kola Oyefeso. Oba Rilwan Akiolu, the Oba of Lagos, was represented by Lagos White Cap Chiefs. Ashuaju S. Kionofawokon, Chief Mrs. Niki Akonde, C.O.N. Chief Ulu Falomo, Chief Michael Adeojo, among many others. The first Bible reading was taken by the Most Reverend S.T. Viadigbite. The Gospel reading was taken from the book of Matthew chapter 24. Verse 36 to 51, and was taken by the Most Reverend Ulukayo de Adeogun. In his sermon, the Most Reverend Kende Stephen, former Archbishop of Ibadan, who was full of eulogies for the deceased, laid emphasis on the significance of Psalm 23 in the lives of the faithful. He said, The deceased's obvious affirmation to dwell in the house of the Lord forever is a remarkable expression of her confidence in the greatness and goodness of God. He enjoined the faithful to prepare by emulating the humble and generous nature of Mama Caroline Oladuni Adebutu. Mama's philosophy was to use her wealth to help people who come across her. No one coming across her will fail to know that quietly you know, nobody sees, nobody will think that the wealthy people are the spouses. No, you will only think the wealthy people are the Baba. Some, some wonderful women that we know, when they passed on, the stories that people told about the women will surprise you. They gave hundreds of scholarship, not even to the knowledge of their husband. They influenced the life. The house boys, the house girls, they paid numerous scholarships without the principal, the husband, knowing anything about it. When they passed on, people would start telling stories. And that humbleness, that generosity of heart, characterized her and characterized her life. She sponsored many students at secondary and tertiary institution and even seminary 
You know I was in charge of seminary in Shagamu. I know what I'm talking about. Without anybody knowing, she will say, ah, uh, Principal Reverend, Ele, I will look more look at this on you. Papa doesn't even know anything about it. Papa will do his own. Mama will do her own as well. She paid countless medical bills for people. After the homely, special prayers were said for family members of the deceased by the College of Clergymen. This was followed by the commendation. After the final benediction, the remains of Dame Caroline Oladunia Debutu was carried out of the church to her hometown, Udugbulu, in Ogun State. The body of Dame Caroline Adibutu arrived at Dogbulu in the company of her children, including Honorable Oladipupu Adibutu, for a homecoming reception amidst a long convoy of family, friends and associates on Wednesday, the 8th of January 2023, and was welcomed with dancing and drumming. <laughs> As her body briefly lay in state, special prayers were offered for her and the entire family by Bishop Uhu and the host of clergymen. After the prayers, the body departed for the morgue at Babcock University Teaching Hospital, where family and friends at the reception continued to celebrate a life well spent, as Fuji sensation Adewale Ayuba supplied pleasant Fuji tunes until the very end. The Christian Wake service for Dame Caroline Oladu Niadebutu JP was held on Thursday, the 9th of February 2023, at the iconic Sir Kersinton Adebutu Marble Home in the heart of Ikberu Remo in Ogun State. The remains of Dame Caroline Oladu Niadebutu arrived at the venue on a horse propelled chariot, followed by a long convoy of family members, friends, and close associates including her beloved husband, Sir Dr. Kessington Adebu Kuala Adebutu, and children. Present at the event were the husband of the deceased, Sir Dr. Kessington Adebu Kuala Adebutu, his wife, Chief Mrs. Kofu Rola Adebutu, children, grandchildren, and other family members. Other notable personalities present were former Governor of Ogun State, Otumba Benga Daniel, Ashiwa Jueski and Ofowokon, Otumba and Mrs. Tunji Lawa Sholari, Are Kola Oyefeso, Chief Boyga Nasir Isiaka, Chief Mrs. Martin Skuye, Honorable Adekule Akinlade, Ulutu Omoba Oyedile, Olori Ladu Shijwade, among many others.
The event started with an opening prayer led by Right Reverend J.M.B. Bikule. The first Bible written was taken by Bishop S. Yadigbite from Romans chapter 8, verse 36 to 39. The second Bible reading was taken by His Eminence, Ulukayode Osoyade Abe, Primate of the African Church from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 to 13. While the third Bible reading was taken by Most Reverend O.O.C. Fafeinwa from the book of John chapter 14 verse 1 to 14. In his sermon, His Eminence, Dr. S.C.K. Uche, Prelate Emeritus, Methodist Church of Nigeria, whose message centered on the memory of the righteous while alive, made it clear that the memory of the righteous is always a blessing. He stated that the deceased, Dame Caroline Adibutu, among other virtues, was a woman of noble character, with selfless, humble, gentle, and sacrificial attributes. He added that Dame Caroline Oladuni Adibutu's memory will remain evergreen in the hearts of the many lives she touched positively. You are a good man. You are commended because of this woman. Your first wife was a good woman. She was not stingy. She was not egotic. She was not arrogant. She was not pompous. She was a humble woman. A woman of gentle mien and candor. And that's how every good woman should be. That's how every good woman should be. Sir, we are here to remember her because her name is written in gold. And let me tell you, it is not to die when you remain evergreen in people's memory. Remember, I say again, it is not to die when your name remains evergreen in people's memory. Yes, her name is evergreen. She laid her treasures in heaven, and she has gone to be with the Lord. Jesus Christ that she loved so much, we wake her up on the day of resurrection. And she's going to enjoy eternal life. And let me tell you, after you have spent 150 years here, you will join her. Because you are going to live long, and you will join her. So we went here. What is your character? Do you encourage your husbands to be agents in God's hands? How will you be remembered? We are remembering Mama. Everybody gathered here has gathered because of the character of the family ones, first of all, and the character of Mama, secondly. The sermon was followed by a melodious and energetic rendition of praise and worship led by B.J. Sachs, as requested specially by Sir Dr. Kessington Adebutu. The event also featured a special tribute session, during which Chief Mrs. Odusi, sister of the deceased, Dame Didi Doris Legusen, and Mr. Ajibola Debutu spoke. The one thing I always remember about my mom is her selflessness 
and a sacrificing spirit. Mommy was always ready to put other people before herself. Firstly, my mom loved my father to a fault. But we thank God for our life. Um, many battles, many struggles, many labors. But thank the Almighty God that mom has finally gone to rest. She's resting. She's resting. No more problems anymore. No more labors. No more worrying about the children. We were just the apples of our eyes and she just, every minute of our life was about us. There was a special performance by BJ Sachs, the Women Fellowship of the Church, and Ariki Akewi. Special prayers were also offered for the family of the deceased while giving the vote of thanks. Honorable Oladi Pupo Olatunde Adebutu stated that his beloved mother, Mama Caroline Adebutu, had sacrificed so much, hence the need for the continuation of her noble legacies by her children and the church. We have to learn from what Caroline Oladuni Adebutu has done. At our last outing in Lagos, I said clearly, our mother did not build one house, but she built houses. She built houses in the lives of people. She was compassionate. She was compassionate. She lacked arrogance. My father told me one day, I saw him with his barrel at hand. And he was calculating what to do with his incoming check for the month. What does this man want to buy that is calculating that he cannot afford to buy? Ladi Monro, Ibitima Queen, and Wo Missini Oshui. Ibonon Prisi. Won't Prisi be to Timaro, a line in Lawa. Without arrogance. Without arrogance. That is exactly what our mother did. That is exactly what our mother did. That is the legacy for the church. That is the legacy for the people. Anybody that does not pursue that line, I'm Thank you. 
the wake service ended with a commendation and departure. The remains of Dame Caroline Oladu Niadebutu, the late matriarch of the Adebutu dynasty and wife of billionaire business mogul, Sir Dr. Kessington Adebuku Oladebutu, was finally laid to rest on Friday, the 10th of February, 2023. The funeral service was held at the Wesley Methodist Cathedral, Iqberuremo, Ogun State. The service, which was officiated by a host of clergymen, started with a meeting and reception of the body at the entrance of the church. Present at the church were the head of the Adebutu dynasty, Sir Dr. Kessington Adebu Kuala Adebutu, his wife, Chief Mrs. Kofu Rola Adebutu, and the entire children and grandchildren of the deceased. Other eminent personalities of the occasion were the executive governor of Ogun State, Prince Dakwa Biodu, Otumbak Benga Daniel, former governor of Ogun State, Senator Bikunle Amosun, former governor of Ogun State, Chief Ulusha Gwon Shoba, former governor of Ogun State, Sir Engineer Shagwoni, former Governor of Ikiti State. Mr. Donald Duke, former Governor of Cross River State. Pa Ayo Adebanjo, leader of Afeni Ferry. El Haji Atiku Abubaka, presidential candidate of the PDP, was represented by his wife, Chief Mrs. Titi Atiku Abubaka. The Senate's President, Senator Ahmed Lawen, was represented by Senator Solomon Obin Naogba. Former President Dr. Goodluck Jonathan was represented by Ambassador God Knows Igali. Otumba Alex and Obanjo. Prince Bisio Latilo, the chairman and CEO of Biscon Communications and wife, Princess Mrs. Folashadi Olatilo. Barrister Shade Balogun. The Oba of Lagos, Oba Rilwan Akiolu, was represented by his wives and white capped chiefs of Lagos. The Bible reading was taken by Right Reverend Morade Yo from the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to 18. In his sermon, His Eminence Dr. Oliver Abba, prelate of the Methodist Church of Nigeria, said, The essence of the gathering was to celebrate the well-spent life of the deceased, whom he referred to as a great counselor and mentor. He added that death is inevitable, and enjoined the faithful to emulate Mama Caroline Adibutu and leave good legacies when they are no more. And this physical death is not the real death. Two, may we not be ignorant of, of saying that there is heaven and there is hell. And you must go to one place, not two places. Not like when they say from Pocatry to Limbo or from Limbo to Pocatry. A time will come when all of us shall rise and go to our Father. One thing about death, this physical death is that all of us must experience it. And it has to do with individual form, individualistic in nature. And when you go, from this mortal body, you appear before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. 
and how prepared are you and I when the Lord shall come? Our sister, our mother, Caroline, her case has been settled. You want to believe that she is in the hands of her maker? She is in the hands of her maker. Our Savior has come to take, key, take her back to himself. Because the Bible made us understand in that St. John chapter 14, from verses 1 and 2, he said, let your heart not be believe, all, believe in me. Believe in the Father. I have gone to prepare a place when that place is ready. I will come back and take you to myself, so that wherever I am, you may be also. My dear people of God, how ready and how prepared are we when the day like this shall come to us individually? The Executive Governor of Ogo States, Prince Dakwabiodo, who gave a brief remark at the service, said, The essence of the gathering is to celebrate the well-spent life of the deceased. He gave some words of encouragement to family members of the deceased, adding that the late Dame Caroline Oladuni Adebutu lived an exemplary life from all accounts, referring to her as an exemplary mother and adorable wife to Sir Dr. Kessington Adebutu. She was an adorable mother to her children and all those who saw a mother in her. She lived a life of impact, a life where she touched everyone that came across her in this community and the extended community beyond Iperu, beyond Remo, beyond Ijebu. You know, times like this, they remind us of how transient life is. God bless Mama, she lived to be 84 years. We all know that we are given birth to, but we never know when our time is up. The question to ask is, what kind of life have you lived? Have you lived a life of impact? Have you touched other people's lives? How have you lived your life? How shall you be remembered when your time is up? The event also witnessed special tributes from the council members of the Knights of John Wesley, as well as a special Thanksgiving session. A prayer of thanksgiving was said by Most Reverend O. O. Dejai. After the benediction, the remains of Dame Caroline Oladuni Adebutu was glamorously moved out of the church for the final interment. The reception followed immediately at the Kessington Adebutu Resort along Ikberu Oderemo Road. It was anchored by a renowned broadcaster and chairman and CEO Biscon Communications, Prince Bessio on the bandstand was Juju Music King, King Sonny Ade, and his dynamic band. The event was attended by eminent personalities from within and across the country. They include the former governor of Cross River State, Mr. Donald Duke. Alahaji Atiku Abubaka was represented by Chief Mrs. Titi Atiku Abubaka, his wife. The governor of Oshun State, Senator Ademola Adelike, was there with a high-powered delegation mostly PDP chieftains. There was a large aggregation of traditional rulers from Remo Kingdom, led by the Akarigbo and paramount ruler of Remo land, or by Dr. Babatunde Adewale Ajayi, CFR. The traditional institutions from Mundo and Ikiti states were hugely represented in solidarity with Sir Dr. Kessington Adebutu, 
who holds the very powerful traditional chieftaincy title of the Odoli Udua of Yoruba land. The Oba of Lagos, Oba Dr. Rilwan Akionlu, was represented by his wives and white-capped chiefs of Lagos. Also in attendance from the Egba Axis of Ogun State was His Royal Majesty, Oba Professor Sakariyao Matemilola, the Oluwu of Owu Kingdom. And from the Jebu Axis, we had Oba Dr. Afolorosho Oguntayo, the Ajaloru of Ijebu Ife in Ijebu Land. Chief Mrs. Fola Shadi Ogumbiyi, Yaludi of Remo Kingdom, and her husband, Chief Yemi Ogumbiyi. General Oladikbo Dia, retired, was represented by his wife, Dame Jills Fendia. Uluri Ladun Shiduade. Princess Mrs. Fola Shadi Olatilo, wife of Prince Besi Olatilo. Barrister Shadi Balogun. Ashiwaju Eskion of Awokon. Members of the prestigious Island Club. Members of the Yoruba Tennis Club, led by the chairman, Chief Brother Babajide Damasio. Members of the Association of Friends, so many other clubs. Highlights of the event were special presentations and tributes by members of the different clubs, including the Eko Club, Association of Friends, ASO, the Island Club, the Lagos Country Club, Ikeja Club, and Council of Lagos Titled Chiefs. And we are very proud of Baba at any given time. It's always with us and we cherish it. No, today is not a day of mourning we are celebrating our life. And we had a lot of water, only paid for him to twice nice and proper. We want to thank God for today. And we give God the glory for granting us His grace and the enablement to be part of a celebration of life our late mother, wife, and sister, Dame Lady Caroline Oladuni Adebutu, a very virtuous woman, the first wife of our patron, Sir Kessintin Adebukola Adebutu, the Odole Odua of the South. We thank God for the life Mama lived. And for those of us who were part of the service of songs, the commendation service, and the wake up of yesterday, you will agree with me that Mama lived a very fulfilled life. So, I on the, on the death of his dear wife. She prayed that God would console, console him, grant him the departed, the restfulness, the person of God. I don't know how to ask. We commiserate with you, but we also rejoice with you because Mama was a great lady. We have seen all her tributes and everything that she has done. And we thank God for her life. We are very happy that you are our Vice President. You have been so good to our association. May God continue to bless you and your family. And may Mama's soul rest in perfect peace. Chief Mrs. Titi Atiku Abubaka gave her goodwill message in which she also eulogized the good attributes of Dame Caroline Oladuni Adebutu. Mama was, you know, she does not only have to her biological children, but everybody that comes around her. We love Mama, we cherish Mama, but there is a time to be born and a time to die. And God Almighty, loves Mama most, and she has taken Mama to his bosom. Mama is resting in peace. She has seen, she has saw, and she has conquered. We pray that Mama's soul, her gentle soul, will rest in peace. And we pray for the family he left, she left behind, that the Almighty God we give them the fortitude to bear this irreparable loss. 
Thank you and God bless us all. There was a special dance session involving their debuts, coordinated by the event compare Prince Bisiolatilo, as King Sonny Ade supplied the very best of music. It was indeed an exciting moment of reunion and get together for family, friends, and close associates of their debut to dynasty from far and near as they celebrated the well spent life of the late Dame Caroline Oladuni Adebutu. <laughs> From Biscon Communications, it's farewell to the matriarch of the Adebutu family, Dame Caroline Oladuni Adebutu.